hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's been just three days here and it's not been funny at all it's been raining and the wind has been blowing terribly today was the most horrible day like this was my experience the first month the first month i think that i came into america the hurricane was horrible we have to travel like how many hours to another city just for our safety the next home after uh, we have like i have some neighbors i have so one white lady another white lady um about one two three about the third home to my home three fell on that home and that's an older white lady the tree fell on that home but to god be all the glory the lady was not harmed you cannot believe what happened half of her building was like crushed because of the hurricane but thank god she, nothing happened to her she lives there with her son but thank god we traveled and came back she was alive her son was alive but there were damages in my own home there was no light but the things i had in my freezer was still okay everything was good what my husband did was he told us to take off all our documents very important things you know like very wonderful frames like things that he cherished he said we should just take those things out you know and those were the things we took out we took out every other thing my husband said leave every other thing let's just take our personal belongings because these things are not things you're going to get in case anything happened to it you can't get them anymore like your wedding frames and traditional marriage frames and all those uh, family frames and all of those my husband said we should just take them those were the things we put in our car and we took some food you will see how people are rushing to the store to buy food just to see something Whenever a hurricane falls around where you are, all you're thinking about is the safety of yourself and your family and your loved ones. Nothing happened to our home. No tree fell on our home to God be all the glory. But come and see my neighbors. A lot of them trees fell on their homes and yeah, it didn't make me feel good at all. So this is the same thing we are facing here today. This is three days it's been raining. Hurricane came here and it hit on people's homes. I mean, I just thank God that, you know, God rescued some people. It's a horrible thing. There are things I can't even put on my video here. I'll just show you clips of little things here and there. And I have a meeting today. I have to quickly go out for my meet. This is me stepping out of the house for the first time today. So, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Stay tuned and enjoy this. So that's why there's traffic all over the place. There's usually roadblocks all over the road because of the trees. It's always like this whenever there is hurricane somewhere and the wind blows somewhere. The wind comes with horrible flood and it blocks everywhere. Trees are falling everywhere. The first time I experienced hurricane here in America was the early time I came here and the name of that hurricane was Hurricane Matthew, I guess. And there's been several others. Like Tenedo, this one is Helena or something. It is not a good experience for anyone to experience. I remember when we watched CNL back then in Nigeria before I came to America. And my uncle would say we really need to pray for people in America and people in every part of diaspora. You know, we we'll watch CNL and we we'll see this hurricane is horrible. You don't want to see it. People die. People lose their family. People lose children. People can be in the beach and hurricane will meet them there and finish every family. Children, adults, adults die. Children die. Homes destroyed. Oh my goodness, it's horrible. I just pray for America. I pray for anywhere you are and I pray safety on you and your family members. And if you have lost anyone, I am sorry. This is what it is right now me going back home after my meeting look at the road the road is still stopped up this other side is moving but this side is really really jam-packed 
can you see from the from a distance can you see i don't know if i should zoom you're looking at this place clean and dried up because it landed at florida when it landed here it was crazy families were devastated running helter skater it was swallowing hotels it was swallowing homes people didn't know where to run to and be safe everybody was scared you know like running all over the place or is it the flood the flood is horrible traffic started building again it's building up again on the other side can you see <laughs> it's adding up here and it's building up on the Anywhere you are, please put us in prayers. Put America in your prayers. I thank God for Africa. Africa don't know what they have. God is merciful to Africa. Honestly, God is merciful. See how that tree fell off from the from the branches. See how it, that tree fell off. It's a lot all over. I'm going to be showing you one. This is natural disaster. It's not a good thing to experience at all. Honestly, guys, we must be grateful at all times. Can you see? This is what the hurricane does. When it comes, it can fall on a building. But thank God this didn't fall on this building. It just Some stores are not open because of this thing that happened all over. All the stores around here didn't open. Some are just opening this evening. Look at all the stores are, are just closed. The bank around here didn't open. This is what we face whenever it's hurricane. Can you see the store is just opening this is like almost this is like six o'clock in the evening since morning no store was open and the store is just opening now this is almost six o'clock and look at the crowd of people i don't think i can i was just tasty i just wanted to pick some drinks that's all i came to the store for can you see cars have been coming and turning coming and turning and the store is still not open this is what we go through whenever there's hurricane here i mean you needed to see the way our streets are looking there's no lights people cannot cook people cannot warm food you know electricity have gone off it's crazy when hurricane comes it keeps people stranded a lot of families go homeless children are hungry schools are not open gas stations are not open there's no electricity it puts a lot of families in a very down situation you can't even reach your money some people hide their money somewhere in their home and you can't reach your money because you're running for life my people say also on that weekend you have to run for your life first before you look for any other thing you needed to see what happened in the morning the kind of wind that was blowing the rainfall everything it was horrible bank didn't open at all the lights are not working all the lights are gone they are not working it was affected some areas doesn't have light you see what i'm saying it's just crazy today so when we get to the lights we just stop one person go another person go one person go another person go that's what we've been doing look at trees on the road look at trees i just thank god that it didn't fall on anybody telling you it's a very serious situation here look at trees these ones are even minor ones these ones are minor look at the light is not working traffic lights are not working we are just driving without any traffic light i just want you to know that these are the things we suffer here and abroad Please share these videos to your friends and loved ones. Can you see? This would have fallen on somebody, guys. Look at. Look at. This is terrible. It's terrible, guys. Look at. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. It's a crazy experience, guys. A lot of people have lost their lives today. In downtown, a building just collapsed, like killed a lot of people. People have died today in Savannah and people have died even in Florida. You know, it's terrible. I'm always very thankful to God because it is a privilege that you wake up every morning. You are healthy. You are hearty. 
it is a privilege. I just want you guys to see what people are going through. This is what is going on in my environment. See, look at this. Can you see how this thing fell off from the branch? Look at how these things fell from the branches. Can you see? And human beings are living here. See how God saved people's lives. You guys, when we wake up in the morning, we should just say thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at. Honestly speaking, guys, this is what we go through here. And you see, and people are living here. My prayer these days that God will have mercy on America. I thank God for the lives of the people living here. They are safe and nothing happened to their home and I bless God for their lives. Please, if you have family members anywhere in America, please call them to know how they are doing. It's a critical moment right now where we are. Reach out to your families and pray for them. God will really help us. This is uh, what we are experiencing. Every year it comes with a very different wind and flood. See how these trees have fallen and uh, this is how it falls on humans. This is how it falls on people's car and it kills people. It just destroys families. It's terrible. I just pray that God will forgive America. Whatever sin America have committed for this to be happening. Guys, Prof. Chukukere just called me now that they don't have light in their area. He was asking if we have light. For some reason, we have light. Some people don't have light. They took our light yesterday. You can't imagine that. They took our light yesterday, but today we have light. But he called me that he's bringing his stuff, that there's no light in their area. Look at everywhere. <laughs> this is where I parked my car. Look at, look at, look at everywhere, guys. You see all the place. See how dirty everywhere is looking. The wind messed up so many things. Okay, that the name we are here. Okay, no here. Okay, no light. No light everywhere. The wind was 70 miles per hour. Yeah, it's like a can. It landed at Hassi, Florida. That's what it made. The hurricane. Hurricane Guinea can up where? You guys have heard the name of this hurricane that came. Hurricane Helena or Helene. God have mercy on us. Up to uh, 200 miles away and started killing people, moving from Tallahassee, Eta, Georgia. It has killed 23 people so far. Jesus, here in Georgia, it no, has. In, the, the, in Georgia, here in Georgia, it has killed 12 people. 12. It has killed 20 people. 12. 12 people. Mm -hmm. You guys still here? The hurricane has killed 12 people here in Georgia, where we are, and in uh, Florida, where it landed, it has many people. And it has demolished people's houses. Uh, houses. People it, are stranded everywhere. Uh, mobile home. Throw them up in the space. Man. A man and his wife were killed. Uh, we are living in mobile home. So he killed them. Jesus is Lord. So many years ago and killed them. Wow. Uh, so that's that. This is terrible what we are going through in America, guys. This is what the situation is. I just got home. My brother-in-law called me and told me he was coming here because there was no light in their area. The of Savannah, no There's no lights everywhere in Savannah, but I'm oh, surprised that oh. we have lights. Everywhere was blackout yesterday, you but thank power, God. Power. You can't do food. Food is a yeah, you can't even cook your food, you can't even you know, you eat. Can't do the stores are closed. Exactly. It's unfortunate. You That's what we are going through. And since three days, we have been experiencing it since three days. Mm -hmm. Today is the third day. And it landed very heavily. That's turned everything upside down, even in my garden. When I went out to see my garden, I was like, God. Well, I thank God so far we are safe. 
My husband just came back and I thank God he is safe, you know. I thank God I went out safely. I came back safely. I didn't go to work. I just went for a meeting and came back safely. My husband said, you cannot go to work. He's been calling me since morning. He said, don't go to that work. Don't no, go to that work. No street lights. Yeah, no street lights. Yeah, that's true. Uh, red lights are all spoiled. All the lights so are spoiled. You know, when you come to the stop, the person that came before you will move before you follow the Yes, that's true. It's just terrible. Alright, guys, stay tuned. This is our situation as at today. Thank you, Day. Thank you so much. Which is to be loving, be kind, be merciful. God loves the merciful heart. Ciao, ciao. See you in my next video.